Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a functioning website on PowerPoint which is also clickable and totally functional. Stay tuned. So let's get started. First I'm going to go to shapes and pick this rectangle and just drag it like that so that it creates a bar. Done. Then I'll go to shape outline, click on no outlines, then I'll go to shape fill and make it this black color. Done. Simple, right? Then I'll go to insert, go to word art, then I'll pick a text and I'll type PowerPoint Pro because that's the name of the site, right? Then I'll just drag over all of it, then I'll change the font to Avant G Bold. Then I'll make the font color white and then I'll put it right over here, decrease the size a bit just like that and put it right over here done so our logo is done then holding down control shift when I have a plus sign on my cursor I'll just drag it over here then I'll type home then spaces and gallery then spaces I'll type video then space I'll type contact so these are the basic things we see in the websites right all right, I put them right over there. Done. So we are done with the bar. Now I'll go to insert, go to pictures, and pick this PowerPoint Pro promo or you know logo icon and put it right in the middle. So this looks like the home page of PowerPoint Pro. Done. All right. Then I'll click on this. I'll go to shift fill. I'll go to eyedropper and I'll drag over this color and click this and I'll have the same color so we have this done then what I'll do is go to insert go to shapes and there's a fine trick right over here pay attention I'll click this over shape and just drag it like that so if you can see we have four pages home page gallery video and contact right so what I'll do is put it right over here I'll press ctrl D to duplicate it and duplicate twice more so I have four of these things then what I will do is go to shape fill and make all this red and make the shape outline also the same color then what I will do is drag over all of this tree and go to shape fill and make them white so that this serves as the first page now I'll go to insert go to shapes and I'll pick shape or shape right over here and I'll just put it right over here just like that and I'll make the shape color this and shape outline this color so we have something like that done then I'll press ctrl shift and holding down ctrl shift I'll just drag it right over here then I'll go to rotate flip it horizontally so it this too will serve as the before and after page done now I'll click on this the thumbnail part over here press ctrl D to duplicate it so we have two slides over here now what I will do is just click on this picture and delete it done then this will be the second page the gallery page now to make it more easy for you to understand I'll go in the first page this is the first page and I'll go to insert go to shapes and pick this rectangle over here and drag it over here then I'll make it white done and I'll control C it then paste it control V then put it right over here this page is for the gallery right so you can understand which page it is right now and I'll also make this thing red and this thing white because this is the second page which is the gallery now in the gallery we must have some pictures right so I'll go to insert I'll go to picture and I'll get some pictures I'll get most of these pictures and I'll get rid of this and go to insert done so we all have the pictures now I'll just minimize it a bit and put it right over there just like that done so we have a total of eight pictures so which picture do I not want I don't want maybe this picture so I'm gonna get rid of this so I have all these pictures I'm gonna arrange them just like that the first two I have arranged then I'll click on this oops I need the eighth picture yeah, it's gonna be right over here. Then I'll drag over all of this and I'll click on format. Then I'll go to align and align them to the middle and align them horizontally. Done. Distribution done. I'll put it right over here and I'll put it right over here so that both of these have the same side. 
done. Then I'll drag over this and do the same process. Align them to the middle, align them to the horizontal. Done, right? So we have our gallery ready. So we have put it in the middle. Then I'll just click on this and press Ctrl D to duplicate it again and just delete all this because this is the third part, the video part. So I'm gonna make this red and make this white. Done. So this is the third page. And in video, we need video. So I'll go to insert, go to video over here, then I'll click on video on my PC and I'll have these videos. I'll just drag over all of them. Or maybe I'll have to insert them one by one. So I'll insert this. So I have a video. If I play it, oops, I will just decrease the sound of it. And you can see the videos playing right over there. So I'll put it right that. Then I'll get some more videos. So I'll go to insert, go to video, put it on my PC, and insert this again and put it right over here. So what I'll do is what the video I want you to watch, I'll just maximize the size of it, just like that. And I'll pick another other videos right over there. And I'll just duplicate it three more times so that you can see the videos. These are going to be different videos, so you don't need to make it the same video. I'm just doing it for the, you know, to make it fast. All right, I'll put it like that, done. So we have our videos ready. Now you can see those, but if I click on it, you'll see the videos rolling, right? All right, now I'm gonna keep it uh, like that. Or if you want the preview to be seen, what you can do is go to a point where you want the video to be rolling like in this part I have the PowerPoint Pro actual interface showing here so I'm gonna right click on it I'm gonna go to trim and I'm gonna remove this green bar to this point and hit OK so it trims the before part and as you can see it shows the PowerPoint Pro interface now you can do the same thing for the other videos so that you know which video you're watching so I'm going to trim it up to here so that you know which video you're watching and that's how you can show the viewer where you want the viewer to go so yeah this should do all right so I'm going to leave it like that now what I'm going to do for the next part is I'll press on this and press ctrl D to duplicate it at the fourth page which will be the contacts right so I'm going to delete all this and make this white and make this red done and in the contact section I'll put something like contact Facebook then Facebook YouTube which is the main thing and Instagram or maybe LinkedIn LinkedIn right done then I'll right click on all of this, home, Avon to G bold and decrease the size a bit and make them all red color and I'll just put it right over here and our pages are done, almost, I'm gonna decrease the size a bit so that it looks more professional, yeah like that, done, and I'm gonna distribute it horizontally and align them to the middle and put it right over here, I might add some more icons to it. So we are basically done with the interface part as you can see, right? Now's the main part, how to make it functional, right? All right, here's a go. The main thing about making a website demo actually work is hyperlinks. So I'm gonna show you how. First go to insert, go to shapes, and pick this rectangle over here and just drag it on top of home. See, just like that. Now, what you're gonna do is go to shape outline and make no outlines. Easy, right? Then right click on it and click on this hyperlink. Then you will have this option over here. Now what you can do is click here and get to the many websites you want or what you can do is give it a file. So to give it a file, go to place in this document, then click on slide one and hit OK. What it will do is whenever you click on this thing, when the slideshow is one, 
it will send you to the slide one. Now you can see no difference, but let me give you another example. I'll just click on this, press Ctrl D to duplicate it and put it right over gallery. Okay. Now right click on it and click edit hyperlink and I'll click on slide two because on the slide two, we have the gallery and I hit okay. Now if I open the slideshow and I click on this, I'll have the gallery, right? Then I'll do the same thing again and again. I'll just duplicate it over here and over here. You don't need to, you know, be anxious about the shakers. We're going to change it. I'm going to right click on it, go to edit hyperlink and make it slide three and click on this, right click on it, edit hyperlink and click on slide four because the contact page is on slide four. Now I'll click on this, holding down control. I'll click on this, on this and on this. Then I'll go to shape outline, click no outline and go to shape fill make no fill and the hyperlinks are invisible right now but if i open the slideshow then if i drag my mouse over here you will see the cursor is changing now if i click on video i'll go directly into the video part right how cool is that now if i click on contact right now i'll go to contact but if i contact, click on video the slide is not there why because i just have the hyperlinks in this page so i'm gonna Hold control then hold in and control. I'll click on this, 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 and this. What I did was I selected all the hyperlinks. Then what I will do is just press Ctrl C to copy them, then click on this slide, press Ctrl V to paste it. This slide, press Ctrl V to paste it, click on this slide and paste it right over here. So we have copy pasted the hyperlinks in every page. Now let's see what happens. If I open the slideshow, if I click on video, I'll go to video page. If I click on gallery, I'll go to gallery page. If I go to contact, I'll go to contact page, right? How cool is that? Now, let me show you another thing. If I go to video and we have our videos over here, you can just click on the video and the video will start happening. <laughs> so here you can actually see how the website works and you can actually show a visible player on your PowerPoint. Now, let's get it a bit further. I'm going to add something more. All right. So what I'm going to do is you can see that this here and this here, these two are some things. So we need to make them editable. So I'm going to go to insert, go to shapes and I'll click on this rectangle. I'll put it right over here and then I'll right click on it. I'll go to hyperlink and I'll click on next slide. So and hit OK. So whenever I click on this, I'll go to the next slide. So what I'll do is click on this, go to shape outline, no outline and make shape fill no fill then I'll copy it and paste it right over here so we have a hyperlink over here and here and not here right why not here because if I click here there is no next page so I need to trace back to the first page so what I'm going to do is right click on it and edit hyperlink and make it slide one and hit ok so now see what let's see what happens if I click on this, I'll be traced back to the PowerPoint Pro, which is the home page. Now I'll need to do the same thing again. So I'll have another shape just over here and I'll right click on it, hyperlink it and make it slide 4 because the last page would be the slide 4 and I'm going to make it invisible. Now I'm going to copy it and paste it and what I'm going to do right now is edit it and make it the previous slide so that it moves you to the previous slide because that's the purpose of this thing it gets you the previous slide and this gives you the next slide so I'm going to press ctrl c to copy it and paste it right over here and here so now let's see what happens I can click on gallery contact video or gallery again whichever I want and if I go to, want to go to the previous slide I can click here here or maybe if I want to get the next slide I can click here and here so that's how you create a functioning website only using PowerPoint 2013. So thanks for watching, man. Like this is a very good stuff. You can also make an app with it. So you can see the possibilities, right? You don't need any coding skills or anything else to make a functioning website demo on PowerPoint. And you can also link these things to your actual website. Let me show you how. I'll just drag the hyperlink and maybe I'll go to Facebook and put it right over here. I'll right click on it and edit the hyperlink. And if I go to existing file or web page and click address, if I click on this, it will link to my Facebook page. Now, if I open the slideshow and click on this Facebook, I'll be transferred to my Facebook page. See, this has completely directed the file to my 
Facebook page. Uh, nice to meet you, man. I'm Sabna Sadiq. It's great to meet you guys. Thanks for watching the entire tutorial. It's very great to come to know you. We have reached over 1313 subscribers. That's a very big number for me. Just I truly imagine like 1313 people have actually chosen to subscribe. I'm really humbled that you chose to subscribe. Thanks for watching the channel and I would like to recommend one channel for you guys. Go visit one skill. This guy makes some awesome cool videos and this guy has some crazy ideas so you should definitely check his channel out. I'll put in a link in the description so you should check his channel out and thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Go share with your friends and have a great day. I'm Sadhan Sadiq signing out.